Welcome back. It's day 18 of Yes Inc.'s 27th anniversary sweepstakes. You did not hear the bell and that means we don't have a sweepstakes winner today. We need a combined 100 new unique entries in our sweepstakes every day to do a drawing, so keep watching and telling your friends and family. As a reminder, we will post videos every day at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If we have 100 new entries in our sweepstakes by 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will do a random drawing and the winner will be contacted by 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Winners will have one hour to respond to claim their winnings. If winners do not respond within one hour, we will randomly select another winner, so be on the lookout and make sure to include your email and phone number if commenting on YouTube. At the front of the video, hear all new content from an effective educator and more Yes Inc. history from Colada Yarbrough. Hi, my name is Kellen Begin, a Yes Inc. team member. Welcome to the next 27 days between January 7th and February 2nd, 2022 of listening, learning, and earning a possible $1,000 when we have at least a new 100 of you listening, learning, and earning each day from January 7th through February 2nd so that you could possibly end up with $1,000 of our $27,000 anniversary cash. In this segment, listen to an interview with a Yes Inc. team member. Hey, so upcoming is Brenda Waters and in her role as Human Capital Management Systems Director, she's gonna be talking about part of our program where we help districts create and implement induction programs and mentoring programs because these two programs are research-based to say that when new teachers have a great induction and receive mentoring, they succeed more readily and more often in the classroom than teachers who do not. So what is induction? So a lot of times it's called onboarding. Like when you go to a new job, it's kind of like um, maybe the first couple days they walk you through the agency or the company telling you about their policies and procedures. A lot of time it has to do with doing paperwork and getting your um, health insurance and your salary and all of those things signed. But a teacher induction program is a lot more than that. And basically when teachers are new to the profession or new to your school, and we say a teacher is a new teacher after three years, they become more advanced, but up to three years, we still consider them new, they need support. So a good induction program is going to lay the foundation. And you'll hear Brenda talk about what we do and we do it for districts. I just wanted to define it a little bit before she went into the details, but a good induction program is multi hours, multi days, and it slowly and very deliberately and very intentionally lays out what a new teacher can expect, good, bad, and ugly, in the first year of being at the school, or if it's their second year, third year, helping them reestablish that, right? That's the definition of an induction program, how you bring new teachers on and lay the road work or the pathway for them to succeed. And part of a good induction program includes mentoring um, activities where they meet who could possibly, possibly, I mean, possibly be their mentor. Uh, so they, they, you go to through mentor selection, doing an induction program. And Brennan's gonna talk about what we do in mentoring, but that's having someone you can go to to tell your fears, your ups and downs, the good, the bad, and without fear of reprisal or getting back to somebody higher up and who knows you're having struggles, right? You get to confidently and have a confidant and a mentor who will hear you out. So listen to Brenda as she talks more about induction and mentoring. And these are two services we provide to districts to help them make sure they establish a well a well uh, stated pathway for success for new teachers. Uh, Brenda Waters, 
I am the um, HMS director also for Youth Empowerment Services. And I want to talk about uh, some of the ways that we um, support educators in becoming more effective. One of the most um, clear ways that we know uh, is through induction. Uh, when uh, teachers have an effective induction process at a district, it supports them in knowing that they've made a good fit and it supports that district in knowing that they've made a good fit in the candidate they've, they've selected for uh, the position that they are trying to fill. It also gives them the opportunity to create those defining moments and those moments where teachers say, ah, yeah, this is the climate, this is the culture, this is the, the district that I wanna be a part of. So when we support our districts in ensuring that they have an effective induction process uh, at their center, at their districts, I'm sorry, uh, for new teachers at their district, not new teachers to the profession, but new teachers to their district. They don't know the district. They don't know the processes. They don't know the protocols, but they don't know the climate. They don't know the culture. They don't know anything about their, their mission or their vision or their core values. And so they get to see that in action uh, when they are uh, attend an effective uh, induction, uh, you know, event for a district. And so that is one of the ways we absolutely provide uh, districts uh, or educators with support uh, to be more effective in supporting those districts in having effective induction uh, processes. We, another way that we support our districts or educators in being more effective is that we make sure that mentoring is, is something that they uh, understand is a valuable tool to help new teachers to the profession stay in the profession. Uh, retention of effective educators is important. So having a good mentoring uh, program and having a good mentoring process, good mentor training, effective mentor training. So those mentors grow as they're, uh, as they're mentoring their mentees or those new teachers, that there's a growth process on both sides. The mentor is growing, the new teacher is growing, and those children are experiencing more effective educators at, at their district. Um, we know that these are benefits. Children, uh, they get retention. They have uh, retention of effective educators. In, in turn, they have student academic growth because of those effective educators in their classroom. Um, we want to make sure that the impact uh, that educators have on these students uh, are, 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 are impacts that, that, are, that forge that student's desire to be a lifelong learner. Uh, and so always wanting to grow, always interested and excited about the learning process because they have an effective educator, a, a, a educator that is, you know, has good classroom management, an educator who understands, uh, you know, how to build rapport and relationship with their students, an educator who is confident in their capacity to grow and to build capacity in their students and help them to grow socially, emotionally, and uh, develop, you know, also academically. So those are some of the benefits. Those are some of the ways that we absolutely support educators in becoming more effective. And we hope that we get an opportunity for to you experience that um, our, our processes and our strategies uh, as you, as you in bark and take upon, take in on some of our training opportunities that we offer to districts and to educators um, throughout the, the, the country. Thank you so much. Don't forget to tune in each day to hear from more of our effective educators. Now let's welcome Claudette Yarbrough, CEO of Yes Inc. as she talks a little bit about the history of Youth Empowerment Services, Yes Inc. from the past 27 years. Okay, this is my final 27 year historical moment regarding our board members, right? I mean, they're so critical to what we do. How can I not not recognize their excellence? Finally, I would like to highlight the work of Ricky Williamson. He was a chairperson forever. Now, there's no debate that he was leading us, but when I, when he was off the board, I was talking to the board members, Shirley, Debbie, and Anne, like, y'all always made Ricky do all the work. And now y'all have to do all the work because he's gone. They were like, hold up, hold up. We were glad to let Ricky do the work, but remember, you weren't getting us the agendas in enough time for us to read ahead and be prepared. So there wasn't, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> there wasn't a lot we could be ready for though. It's not that we let Ricky, da, da, da. I said, okay, okay, okay. Checking me, checking me. But Ricky was willing 
to lead us and support the work that we were doing. And he was a praying man and a friend. Um, when Ann Hudson, our board member, uh, she's been sick on and off, but when she first, I believe, got diagnosed with cancer, which she no longer has, thank God, uh, we were either rescheduling, having to reschedule a board meeting or do something. And um, Ricky, we called on Ricky to pray. And I don't know where he was. He stopped and prayed. Ann was on the phone. I was on the phone. I don't know if all the board was on the phone. But his prayers meant so much. And they worked, okay? <laughs> so every time after that, when that was the issue, he was like, Ricky got to pray. He's a chairperson of the board, but that, that don't mean you can't pray. Ricky would pray. And so grateful for Ricky's leadership during the time he was on the board and his guidance. And he had a really stressful job. How do I know? He told me, okay. He was a project manager for a major company after he retired from the military and serving our country. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. He went into some very important work for him. His passion was project management and he was really good at it. It had him traveling a lot and living places for two, three, six months at a time. And I asked him one time about it and it was, it was very stressful. He could get calls at one in the morning that a system went down or midnight or three. And he had to wake up as the leader of that project and handle his business. And yet he was always, did I say always? Yeah, always ready when the agency had a need, when it was time for a board meeting, for scheduling. Look, we had 100% attendance at every board meeting because we crafted our schedule around the times our boards could meet that was convenient for them. And so we never ever missed a beat. We never ever missed a beat with Ricky as our chairperson. And I teased the ladies about letting Ricky do all the work, but he didn't mind. He was wonderful at leading and our board and myself were willing to follow, right? He had a great, great, uh, he still does. He's just not on the board anymore. So I don't know talking about him in the past. He's just not on the board anymore. But what he brought to our organization and our agency and our leadership he loved the work that we were doing with the children and the parents. Um, he was there for us and he was a wonderful leader of our board. And um, shortly before we went through the revocation is when he stepped down and Ann stepped up. But thanks to Ricky Williamson for the years of service he gave to Youth Empowerment Services that helped us become who we are today. 27 years and he was leading the board when we didn't have 27,000 to give away we were in the whole one year half a million dollars that's another story <clears throat> that's another historical moment that I kind of put out of my head but I'll go back and get it so I can share with you guys what happened but we made it through and his leadership was very helpful and was definitely a key factor in the ability to be here today, sharing our story 27 years later. Here's to another 27 years and whatever work he's doing, he's doing with his passion and there. Oh, one other thing. After Ricky had left the board, he returned because of the work we were doing, we supported his work in Africa. So we sent uh, computers to Africa through, through Ricky. And he brought us back some wonderful gifts he came and visited our team and thanked us in front of everybody for giving those computers um, to his uh, Africa initiative. 
through the church, New Creation Christian Fellowship, through the church, and through his work. So we applaud him. And that was after he left the board, we were able to still be partnering together. So we thank Ricky for his love for our work, his friendship for our agency, and his guidance and leadership of our board for many, many years. Thank you, Ricky. Thanks everybody for listening to me talk about Ricky. Ricky Williamson. Yes, you're in the right place. If you've been getting our emails or heard about this from somewhere else, you're in the right spot. This is what it was. This is what was coming. It's here. This is what we're doing for the next 27 days. Welcome to Yes Inc.'s 27th anniversary celebration. Thanks for listening and enjoy the video. Yes, $1,000 can be yours. Make sure you listen every day and tell your friends so you and they can possibly win $1,000 of our $27,000 anniversary cash. There are three ways to enter our giveaway, all in the video description. You can enter directly through our website or subscribe to our Yes Inc. Golden Newsletter or like and comment on YouTube. Yes, $1,000 can be yours. prosperous. I am victorious. I am talented. I am creative. I am wise. I am healthy. I am in shape. I am happy. I am positive. I am passionate about life. I am strong. I am confident. I am secure. I am valuable. I am free. I am accepted. I approve of me. I am prepared. I am qualified. I am motivated. I am focused on being effective. I am disciplined. I am determined. I am patient. I am kind. I am generous. Make sure you keep coming back every day to watch, learn, and possibly earn $1,000 in our 27th anniversary sweepstakes. How do you enter to win $1,000? There are three ways to enter, all found in the video description. You can enter our giveaway directly through our website, or subscribe to the Yes Inc. Golden Newsletter, or like and comment these videos on YouTube. We will give away $1,000 daily when we reach a combination of 100 new giveaway entries from the three ways you can enter. Click the links in the description for the three ways to enter our 27th anniversary drawing. If you're one of the lucky daily winners, we will notify you by email and announce during our daily video. If you hear the bell at the beginning of the video, that means we have a lucky winner and we will announce the lucky winner at the beginning of the video. If there is no bell at the beginning of the video, that means there isn't a lucky winner for that day. You absolutely don't want to miss this. Enter now. Attention educators, save the dates for our amazing free five-day intensive educator preparation training in San Antonio, Texas from June 27th to July 1st, 2022. You don't want to miss your free opportunity to be one of 50 participants training to become more effective. Click the link in the video description to begin the selection process. Now, let's learn a little bit more about IEP. Hi, my name is Jamie Payne, and we are in Las Vegas for Intensive Educator Preparation Training for Effective Educators with Yes Inc. 
the whole program in itself just really has the potential to make you grow. They helped me to become a leader. You know, it, it allows you to see the other side of what a classroom teacher has to do. So in the breakout sessions, they talk about being culturally responsive, knowing who you are, classroom management, transitioning. Everything has just been very helpful and big, and I believe all teachers need it. Door prizes, music, dance competitions. You have an opportunity to network and connect with other professionals. You know, have fun once in a while because we deserve it. If you are passionate about education and you are passionate about being an effective teacher, then do it and you should come all in. It's like one big family, and that's what makes it even more impactful. Make sure you keep coming back every day to watch, learn, and possibly earn $1,000 in our 27th anniversary sweepstakes. How do you enter to win $1,000? There are three ways to enter, all found in the video description. You can enter our giveaway directly through our website, or subscribe to the Yes Inc. Golden Newsletter, or like and comment these videos on YouTube. We will give away $1,000 daily when we reach a combination of 100 new giveaway entries from the three ways you can enter. Click the links in the description for the three ways to enter our 27th anniversary drawing. If you're one of the lucky daily winners, we will notify you by email and announce during our daily video. If you hear the bell at the beginning of the video, that means we have a lucky winner and we'll announce the lucky winner at the beginning of the video. If there is no bell at the beginning of the video, that means there isn't a lucky winner for that day. We will check our entry numbers every day at 8.30 a.m. and we will post a new video every day at 10 a.m. with the name of the winner. You absolutely don't want to miss this. Enter now. Reminder, listen for the sound of the bell that sounds like this at the beginning of every video to see if we have a winner. Also, don't forget to save the dates for our amazing free five-day intensive educator preparation training in San Antonio, Texas, June 27th to July 1st, 2022. Click the link in the description to begin the selection process. Thanks for watching.